Hi there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky and this is our friend Bear who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Have you ever gone outside at night and looked up at the stars to find the Big Dipper? Some have, Bear. Well, Bear says he likes to try to find the Little Dipper and the North Star, too. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see how to find those stars. The Big Dipper by Franklin M. Branley. I like to go outside at night. Everything is still and dark. At night, I can see the stars. Some nights, the stars are very bright. They look close, too. It seems that I can almost touch them. I know I cannot. They are too far away. My father and I look at the stars. We look at them in summer and in winter. They are not always the same. In summer, these are some of the stars I see. In winter, I see these stars. But there are some stars that I can see both in summer and in winter. I can see the Big Dipper almost every night if the sky is clear. Long ago, people drank water from dippers. The dipper in the sky looks like a water dipper. It has a bent handle and it has a bowl. There are three stars in the handle of the dipper. There are four stars in the bowl. I use a compass to help me find the dipper. A compass points to the north. I hold a compass in my hand, then I look in the direction that the compass needle points. I can see the Big Dipper in summer and in winter. On summer nights, the Big Dipper looks like this. On winter nights, it looks like this. On fall nights, the dipper looks like this. It is low in the sky. Sometimes it is so low, you may be able to see only part of it. These are the names of the seven stars in the Big Dipper. The two stars at the end of the bowl are called the pointer stars. They point to Polaris, the North Star. When you look at the Big Dipper in the sky, imagine a dotted line going from one star at the end of the bowl to the other one. Imagine that the dotted line goes all the way to the North Star. The North Star is a very important star. Sailors and other travelers use it to help them find their way. When they sail toward it, they are going north. If they sail away from it, they are going south. To go west, the sailors keep the North Star to the right of them. To go east, they keep the North Star to the left. There is also a Little Dipper. The North Star is the first star in the handle of the Little Dipper. The Little Dipper has seven stars too. Whenever I see the Big Dipper, I can find the Little Dipper. When the sky is clear and dark, go outside and look for the dippers. Look to the north. There you will see the Big Dipper, the North Star, 
and the Little Dipper. Long ago, people imagined that the Big Dipper was part of a big bear. They called it the Ursa Major. Ursa means bear and major means big. They imagined that the handle of the dipper was the tail of the bear. Three pairs of stars were the paws of the bear. A bright star was his nose. Sometimes I think I can see the tail of the bear. I make believe that I can see its head, the nose, and the four feet. People of long ago thought that the Little Dipper was part of a little bear. Since minor means little, they called it Ursa Minor, Little Bear. I try hard to imagine that I can see the little bear, but I cannot. Maybe you can. Some night when it is still and dark, take a friend outside. Show him how to find the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper, and the North Star. See if he can imagine that he sees the Big Bear. Maybe he'll even be able to see the Little Bear. Bear's wondering, should we try finding the Big Dipper first? Yes, Bear. Let's find the Big Dipper. Then follow the star on the tip of its bowl straight to the North Star on the Little Dipper's handle. Wow! Bear hopes you have fun showing a friend how to find the Big Dipper. And he also hopes you come back soon for more adventures in discovering amazing things in the world. Bye for now. Please subscribe.